Computer-based assessment refers to testing taken on a computer. The person who takes the test is asked a series of questions which are stored either on a computer or on a remote server. Then the responses are accessible to determine an individual or collective performance. Computer-based assessment is not a new concept. There are other solutions on the market today. But with the CRPN Editor, we are trying to achieve something that has never been done before with a project called TAU. TAU uh, integrates two disciplines, uh, indeed advanced knowledge technologies and psychometrics. And this innovation makes TAU a far better solution than what you can find on the market today. The TAU project has been started in 2002 with the University of Luxembourg and the first version has been released in 2003. Since then we have made a lot of research projects and put all the results into the platform and now the version 2.0 has been released. From our customer point of view, the main objective of TAO are threefold. The first one is to enable the full management of the whole computer assessment process, including the creation, the management, the delivery and the analysis of the results for tests and test campaigns. The second objective is to make it easy to collect data and share data, collect data about the background of the test taker and the test situation. And the third objective is to make certain that we can distribute this platform for free to everyone. One of the main goals of the CRPR Editor is to innovate in the field of information and communication technologies. A complementary goal is to strengthen the economical and social fabric of the Grand Duché of Luxembourg. TAO helps Studio contribute to both these goals. For instance, we are helping the advancement of research in computer security and in applied artificial intelligence. At the same time, TAO is available for free for schools in Luxembourg. TAO is a development that we have started uh, since 2002 uh, in a collaboration between the University of Luxembourg and the CRP uh, Henri Tudor. And since 2007, uh, we have introduced a large scale monitoring for all the schools uh, here in Luxembourg. The Athenee de Luxembourg was uh, one of the schools where also all the ninth graders uh, participated. And this was really a challenge uh, to get to, to do such a large-scale computer-based delivery. It gave us the opportunity to build up a real know-how in this area of delivering large-scale computer-based tests. And now we are really at the stage where we can say that we master the process really well and that we are able to do it. The student can take a test by just logging in, then the explanations for the test, he gets them from the computer, and then he has access to a test which is self-paced, he can advance at his own pace, and he is an environment which can benefit from the interactivity that is offered by a computer. Also for the teacher, there is not too much supervision to, to be made and then he can get back the results that come out from the test results of the student. And on the other hand, naturally, there are really big advantages for uh, the researcher because as a researcher what you want to do is to have full control over the instruments that have to be designed. You want to be innovative, you want to really uh, design yourself how this item will look like, how the test will be delivered. And there you have uh, uh, big constraints when you use whatever commercial product and so having an open source product which you can control completely is there a really big advantage. And I think that's also the reason why open source had such a big success in academia. It's because you get full control and so you can really want to do what you want to do as a researcher. There are three reasons to provide TAO free and open source. The first one is to make certain that teachers and researchers can create tests for free. The second one is also to make certain that researchers uh, are able to innovate on the platform and uh, extend the capacity of the platform. And the third reason is that open source enables us to drive the adoption of the platform and enables us also to charge fees for our scientific expertise. TAO has already been used in large international surveys like PISA. Currently, TAO is used in 26 countries, in 32 languages, and will reach more than 130,000 final users. And now we are preparing for the next cycle of PISA, where we expect the participation of more than 60 countries. The core of TAO will remain free and open source, but we are also making plans for offering commercial services to companies around TAO, and to this end we foresee the opportunity to create a spin-off company, and this would be a real success for CRP and Ritudo. Thank you.